Welcome back to the Walker Test Lab. I'm here with Bill Donovan, a member of the Tenneco and Walker Emissions Control Team. Our objective in this program is to cover step eight in the emissions control diagnostic process. That's right, Joe. And step eight is to check the fuel system for proper pressure. Many technicians begin their diagnosis with the fuel system and then run through the rest of the steps covered in this series. And that's fine because a leak or contamination in the fuel system can wreak havoc on engine operation, affecting everything from drivability characteristics to emissions. How can it affect emissions? Modern engine management systems precisely control the air-fuel mixture that's introduced into the combustion chamber, based in part on the emissions being produced by the engine. But reduced fuel pressure can alter the volume of that fuel charge, which under certain conditions could cause the vehicle to run artificially lean. A lean condition can prevent the converter from operating efficiently. It might also prevent the converter from lighting off, which means it might not function at all under this condition. How do we check fuel system operation? We're going to perform a few basic mechanical tests using a pressure gauge on the fuel rail. Now some newer vehicles don't have fuel rail tabs to permit this test but you can usually use a scan tool to check pressure on these applications. Okay, let's hook up the pressure gauge now. We need to keep safety in mind and check the entire system for external leaks. Once we are sure that there are no external leaks, we can check the pressure and leak down rate. Start the engine and you should see a pressure reading. Compare this reading to the manufacturer's specification. Even a few PSI below spec can result in serious emissions and drivability issues. Now shut off the engine while watching the gauge. The pressure reading should remain constant for at least five minutes. If not, you have either a leaking fuel pressure regulator, injector, or check valve at the pump. Once you have resolved any leak down issues and still have low pressure, the issue should be the result of a restricted fuel filter, pickup screen, or a problem with the fuel pump or its wiring. Thanks, Bill. Please be sure to join us for each of the 13 steps in proper emissions control diagnostics. Our next segment will cover step nine, checking fuel trim. Thanks for watching.